the Galaxy S22 that is stuck on the black screen of death can be caused by several factors. In most cases this can be caused by a software glitch which can easily be fixed. But sometimes, the problem can already be caused by a hardware fault which would require the phone to be fixed at a service center. In this video, we will show you how to fix the Galaxy S22 that is stuck on a black screen and won't respond. But before we move on, please like, share and subscribe to our channel to support us. Going back to our topic, here are the things you can do. First solution, force restart your phone. One of the common causes of this black screen of death is a firmware crash. The phone will not respond for no apparent reason and will usually just show a black screen. The fastest way to fix Samsung black screen issues is by doing a forced restart, also called a soft reset. To do that, simultaneously press and hold the power key and volume down button on the right edge for approximately 10 seconds. When the device shows the Samsung logo, then that's the time to release the keys. The logo is a sign that you've successfully made your Galaxy S22 respond again. And in most cases, it's enough to fix a problem like this. However, if it is stuck on a black screen after this, then move on to the next solution. Second solution, charge the battery. There's a possibility that the battery life of your Galaxy S22 smartphone is fully drained. When this happens, your phone will not be getting any power, and all you can see is a black screen. So follow these simple steps. Plug the power adapter to a working electrical outlet. Use the original charging cable to connect your Galaxy S22 to the charger. Regardless of whether the charging sign shows or not, leave the phone connected to the charger for at least 10 minutes. After such time and with the phone still connected to the power adapter, press and hold the volume down button and the power key for 10 seconds. Your phone should now be able to start normally if the issue is caused by a drained battery or a firmware crash. You might have to do these procedures a few more times if your device refuses to respond. However, after a few tries and it just won't turn on, then have the device checked. The problem can already be with the hardware. We hope this guide can help you one way or the other. Thanks for watching.